Hello everyone. The weekend was a bit of a washout, literally. It just rained all weekend. And I really had to get the car out to get the, the front end finished. But as you can see today, glorious sunshine. Let's play. On today's show, I'm gonna finish off the front. So I need to get the fenders off again, get the grill off again. Well, I might not need to get the grill off. But the main goal today is to permanently attach the fenders to the front of the car. And then we can finally start with the wiring for the lights and everything. I'm really excited, so let's get on. Right, step one, I'm going to jack the car up at the front so I can get underneath because when I place the fenders on that thing and bolt it to the grill, I then need to mark holes on the inside of the fenders, probably about three holes around here where that side of the fender attaches and I'll probably use threaded inserts around there and then we'll be able to see where it's going to sit on top of this. I know from you know you'll see that from previous videos that the defender's sitting a little bit far forward so i will make a little extension plate same shape as that just in mild steel for now nothing too fancy just to allow the fender to sit flat on the running board further down the line i will be replacing that tiny radiator with the full size radiator and while i'm at that i'll probably move the whole thing back an inch or two to where it's supposed to be but for now it will do and I will just have to deal with the little gap that's going to be there. But as I say, further down the line, it's about $400 to replace that radiator, which I can't do at the moment. So let me get on with this. Right, it actually makes more sense to have these little plates the running board ready otherwise what am I going to sit the fenders on so I'll go and I'll go and make them first plates on then I can put the fenders on then I, can, I need to mark on the underside where I have to drill the holes to connect the fenders to these I shall quickly throw these on carriage bolts still had to cut them down and I will be painting these just black just to hide them a little bit but not until I've finished drilling everything
Great. Fender time. So as you can see, that height is near perfect, happy with that. And that just shows how far back the bottom of the, the grill actually is. But as I say, I'll just paint that black for now. Once I get the proper radiator, I'll move the whole lot back and I can just do away with that. So I just need to mark the holes on the underside of that plate to attach that. Mark the holes on the body where I have to screw it in. There's, there will be original holes on that side of the fender and everything else is attached. I've got a couple of screws under here from that fender support that I need to bolt on. But that's fine there. Should work great. Right, I'll be back in a bit when I've got these marks and drilled and painted and screwed back in. Oh, I need to do the other side as well, obviously. Okay, both my plates are now done. Bolted in, painted with that rubbery stuff, the same as the running boards. I'm just waiting patiently or impatiently for this stuff to dry. And I've got my threaded inserts in there. That bracket's ready to go. Yeah, just a bit of uh, patience required for this paint. If I put the fenders on now, it's going to squidge that rubbery paint everywhere. So just for a change, I think I'll just tidy up the tools that I won't require. A uh, quick update actually, do you remember it was having trouble starting? Well it wasn't having trouble starting, there was just a bit of a, a delay, like pressure was building up. Anyway, Ted was over at the weekend and we concluded that the timing was advanced just a couple of degrees. So we've retarded it a little bit and it fired straight up. So you'll see that later on when I put the car away. Any excuse to fire it up, eh? Okay, I've waited long enough. I've run out of patience, so I'm going to rebuild it. Hope it all fits. Here we go. It is done. Needs a little bit of tweaking here and there, but overall it's pretty solid. Let me show you how it all lines up. So the fenders are pretty solid. Oh, you don't even notice that join. <laughs> this obviously, I've still to put the bracket in, but once that's closed, with the with the catch, it will be it will be quite nice. It's just that inch, see that little inch in there? That little inch gap. Oh, it's so frustrating, but I will get it done eventually. Now obviously if I take care of that little fender inch, then it will take care of that. Oh, I'm not going into that again. Overall, it's good, it's solid. Still to actually tighten up the, fin the, the bolts in the grill shell. Still to do that, but I'm dubious about doing that because of tomorrow's job. But as I say, that's all lining up fairly nice. Third test. That's a good third. 
pretty pleased with that. That one's barely noticeable. That one was different because that running board's, that was already a bit longer, so I didn't have to add too much steel. So what is missing from this vehicle? Headlights, of course. Personally, I think the headlights give the soul to a car, the eyes. And without the headlights on and working, it's still not alive, even with an engine running. It's kind of like in a coma. So once those eyes open, it will be alive. So that's tomorrow's job. I'm quite excited about that. Headlights, flashers, main beam, dip beam, fog lights, all that kind of stuff. So excited. So make sure you tune in tomorrow. Right, and remember, subscribe. I appreciate everyone's comments and tune in tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.